Hello from OC Embosi's Thompson Road campus. I'm Peter Hunt, principal of the CTE programs here, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Tools for Success Student Awards Ceremony. Now in a moment, we'll hear about the notable young people that uh, are being honored here today. You know, the mention of that term young people, when I, when I say that, I'm reminded that uh, all of our award winners were born during the 21st century. So for them, a 2008 Chevy, for example, can be thought of as an old car, a relic from their childhood. A home built in 2006 has already weathered a decade and a half of central New York weather, and a restaurant in business since, say, 2016 has survived five years of competition, plus all those COVID closures. Even though our students are young by chronological standards, they are really old hands in their respective career and technical education classes. They're on the final lap of their successful completion of the respective two-year automotive tech, auto collision, construction tech, welding technology, or culinary arts career and technical education program. Their teachers are here today to symbolically pass the torch to this new generation of pre-professionals. Well, instead of an actual torch, teachers from five of our CTE programs will be passing along to their best students, either a colorfully bright snap-on ratcheting screwdriver, or an S-wing hammer, or a custom embroidered chef's coat, or an industry-sanctioned welding uniform. We've selected these particular tools of the trade at this year's awards because, like in OCM BOCES CTE education, they're made in America and they're guaranteed for life. Then they're useful throughout all of the students' future. Plus, in the hands of someone who has learned how to properly use them, they can help build, repair, fabricate, cook, or maintain a lifetime of projects or delicious dishes. And who knows, perhaps some of the young people here today who will be honored will someday pass along their award to a grandchild who may be around to see the next century. That's the legacy of good parents, good teachers, and a technical education that always emphasizes lifelong learning. And now let's meet our OCM BOCES Tool for Success award-winning students. To begin the recognitions, here's Mr. McGivney from the Automotive Collision Program. My Tool for Success recipient is Nathan Hyslop, a senior from Liverpool High School who has completed two years in my Auto Collision Technology Program. Throughout the two years I have known Nathan, he has consistently demonstrated a willingness to work hard and learn as much as he can in auto collision. For example, Nathan decided to start and finish a BMW complete paint project many students were hesitant to take on. This project, Nathan had to mask off, match, and create a difficult color scheme. The finished product spoke for itself, as it was of utmost quality. Nathan has excelled in every area in my program, which includes removing and replacing body parts, straightening sheet metal, welding, and refinishing. Nathan is a very independent learner who is self-motivated and is concerned about showing progress in whatever he does. In fact, Nathan will be starting a three-week internship at Chuck Taylor's Body Shop next week. He leads by example, by being enthusiastic, and positive in his quest for knowledge. Nathan has planned on pursuing a career in automotive field for most of his life. The extra effort and determination will, in my opinion, develop a top-notch collision repair technician. This fall, Nathan will attend the collision repair program at Alfred State. Congratulations, Nathan. I know you will do well. Hello, I'm pleased to announce that my nominee for this year's Tools for Success Award is Eden Luke. Eden, congratulations. Eden's a graduating senior at Baldwinsville Baker High School, and she's being nominated for this award because of many positive factors. These include good attendance, good grades, safety in the auto shop, as well as a consistent record of being a very good student. 
At first glance, Eden may appear to be the quintessential high school teenager. She's quiet, conscientious, and kind. Once you observe her in the auto tech classroom, you realize that she's a young woman who understands the value of work and getting things done. As soon as a project is assigned, Eden doesn't grumble, gripe, she simply focuses how to best complete the job. When the task at hand is accomplished, she always helps to clean up, even if she didn't make the mess. And then, rather than take a break to check her cell phone, Eden's often doing something productive or helpful. After graduation, Eden plans on accepting an offer to work in a service department of a local car dealership. I predict she will do very well. And she will be successful in adding to the diversity of what has been predominantly a male-dominated profession. By the way, Eden took on the project of revitalizing her family's Kia and putting her CTE auto tech theory by looking up the parts needed and making sure the items were delivered and ready for the next day of work. As has been the case during her education at OCM BOCES, she has demonstrated attention to detail and good customer service. Congratulations, Eden. And I'm also going to add that Eden is also going to be doing an internship at the Baldwinsville Bus Garage starting next week. So congratulations. I'm pleased to nominate Kyle Shaw for my Tools for Success recipient. Kyle's a senior from James, Jamesville DeWitt High School and has consistently demonstrated a strong work ethic, strong character, and a drive to be proficient in the field of work. I've only known Kyle for one year, but it was clear from the start that he is driven to succeed in all assignments, coursework that was presented to him. He took on a timing chain replacement on an inter interference engine which is a feat that most other students wouldn't know where to begin. He not only knew the information provided throughout the course in the part of theory, but he knew how to apply the information in a real world scenario. Not only has Kyle gained and applied knowledge in the automotive industry, but remains focused during class and does not easily get distracted. His pure determination and self-motivation will be evident wherever he goes. He plans to attend an internship at Mazda next week, and I am confident that he will overcome any challenges that arise. Congratulations, Kyle. I'd like to introduce Jaden O'Hara, OCM BOCES Drivers Village Automotive Technology Snap-on Screwdriver Award nominee from West Hill High School. Typically, I learn about the interests, worth ethic, and future plans of a student through the daily interaction we have in class from the very first day of school and each day thereafter. Jaden started out like many students do, quiet at first, but loved being in the shop working on vehicles. Our first 20 weeks involved safety and learning about braking systems. Jaden had some experience learning from his father and working on various power sports equipment and vehicles at home. I was surprised to eventually learn that Jaden had a part-time job at a local auto body shop, helping out and cleaning and light disassembly and repair of vehicles there. While our hands-on activities were cut short with COVID last year, this year we were able to get back to honing those hands-on skills once again. Jaden has shown that he can excel at both the hands-on portion of the program and also the theory portion of the program. I frequently monitor how much time students put into their online theory work, and Jaden is consistently spending a considered amount of time to learn about the theory involved in repairing vehicles. Where Jaden really shines is in the shop working on vehicles. Jaden loves to figure out a problem or complete a task. It's easy to see why he has chosen this as a career option. Good luck, Jaden. Don't stop learning. Congratulations.
Well, we're happy to recognize an outstanding construction technology student from the Thompson Road OCM BOCES Construction Tech Program. This year's CTE Construction Technology honoree is being noted for achievements during his two-year CTE study of the theory and practical aspects of home building, remodeling, and residential wiring. The student has demonstrated excellent technical and employability skills and is receiving a certificate, a table saw, and a, a commemorative S-Wing hammer. Here to recognize our award winner this, this day is uh, OCM BOCES construction technology teacher, Mr. Michael Cabot. I'd like to recognize Andrew Ayrton, a graduating senior from Liverpool High School. Andrew has been a great student throughout his two years in construction technology. No matter the carpentry assignment, I can always count on Andrew to complete the job successfully and efficiently. That's because he takes the initiative and is very self-directed, which are two qualities that propel him through a great construction career. Andrew has shown his skills through many diverse projects, including the construction of a 1,300 square foot modular house, custom crafted Chromebook cabinets, scaled model house, and a host of other pursuits. Andrew learns so quickly that he's often able to take on projects that have been increasingly difficult throughout the year. He is natural with his construction math and many times has led others with the knowledge he's gained. Andrew demonstrates his leadership skills through guiding and teaching his fellow classmates. He has no problem taking the lead on a project and most importantly, I can always trust he'll follow through with those. It is my prediction that Andrew will continue to grow and excel within the ever-changing construction industry. It is my pleasure to wish him the very best as he begins his next exciting chapter in his life. A new addition to our suite of Tools for Success celebrations is the Welding Technology Program. Here to present the Golden Torch Award to our notable CTE welding student is teacher Mr. Debichian. He'll be conveying a certificate of achievement and a safety coat and gloves and hat from industry partner, Hawn Weldon. My Tools for Success recipient is Charlie Smith, a two-year welding student from Liverpool High School. Charlie has been an excellent welding student these past two years and has shown a particular interest in the, in the CNC plasma arc system. He has mastered the CNC pro, uh, process and has led operational duties of the school new plasma arc system. Charlie continues to give back to his fellow students by demonstrating his talents on the use of the machine and teaching others in the classroom as serving as a mentor to fellow students. He has completed projects, a uh, very powerful tool showing others that uh, can be done if you put your mind to it. Charlie has consistently demonstrated the utmost professionalism and safety when conducting these operations within the classroom. Charlie's self-motivation and positive reinforcement has been a welcome addition to the graduating welding class. Charlie has plans for the immediate uh, internship with JPW companies in Syracuse. Charlie is well on his way into impressing the co-workers at JPW this summer. In 2018, two local chefs, Stephen Goodnecht and Christopher Hicks, were practicing their craft in a popular DeWitt restaurant. When through a tragic sequence of events, these young men lost their lives while doing what they loved most. To honor the memory of these two culinary professionals and to help the community by continuing Stephen's and Christopher's mission to help feed the hungry, a charitable organization called Two Chefs from Above was founded by Steve's family. This organization also seeks to help other young people who have a passion for their culinary arts and to further the dreams of becoming a chef. Here is our Chef Canero, OCM BOCES culinary arts teacher, who will announce this year's Two Chefs from Above award recipient. 
On behalf of two chefs from above, it is my honor to nominate Alyssa Lanning, a Chittenango High School senior, and Aaron Walters, an Onondaga Central High School senior, for the annual Two Chefs from Above Memorial Award. Both students have been selected uh, for this recognition because of their hard work and dedication in our OCM BOCES culinary arts classroom. It should be noted that each student will be attending post-secondary education in the fall to continue their culinary education. It is now my pleasure to introduce Nancy Chapel, who will present the awards. Congratulations, Alyssa and Aaron, and best wishes to you as you prepare to further your culinary education in the fall. On behalf of two chefs from above, I would like to present you both with this award. Thank you very much for sharing in this virtual awards presentation. I trust it leaves you with a real sense of the vibrant brand of future professionals who've begun learning their craft right here at the Thompson Road campus or at our Driver's Village classroom. As we conclude, I'd very much like to acknowledge our OCM Board of Education, our OCM Administration, and our partner component school districts. They join me in wishing hearty congratulations to each of today's Tools for Success Award winners. Young people, well done, and goodbye and, and stay well. <laughs>